Hi ladies, welcome or welcome back to the channel. Thank you all so much for your continued love and support. You all can book your 30 minute divine feminine phone readings down below in the description bar. So let's go ahead and tap into this message and see what is here. We might as well just go ahead and get one more out, okay? And then we can flip the rest of them over since that's how they want to come come through. I'm also getting an element of surprise. There could be an element of surprise, okay, that is coming up. Something could be coming up and you're not aware of it, okay? Something that's going on behind the scenes, possibly some manifestations, an opportunity that's lurking around the corner, okay? Um, a surprise party or a surprise celebration or just something you were not expecting, okay? Um, or a spirit just says, hey, I want to keep this a secret now or maybe there's something you're supposed to keep a secret now okay but it's all leading up you know to to the to um to something bigger or something like that okay we got homebody at the bottom of the deck here all right, we have am I blue? So this could be um, like that five of cups type of energy. This is sad. This is a regret. This is crying a lot. Okay, uh, maybe you saw something in your third eye or with your um, within your vision that kind of made you sad or something. Okay, but this is definitely uh, feeling sad. Maybe something didn't work out the way you thought it would, and it kind of has you in your feelings. This could be a relationship. This could be something work uh, financial. This could be um, uh, whatever this is for you okay uh, a living situation this could be um again with family friends something just didn't work out uh career money whatever this is it just didn't go in your favor okay and and, and you could be really sad about it okay or something has you in your feelings you like dang i was hoping this will work out this way or, or something like that with this am i blue okay or some of you guys a situation it just uh life may have you sad for for Whatever reason for whatever you're going through, I see you're somebody that has shed a lot of tears. You, you, you've cried a whole lot here as well. All right. Maybe you don't feel like doing the things you used to do or I'm getting you need to get your mojo back. If you've been in this energy, get out of this energy. You need to get your mojo back. Don't allow whatever these circumstances are to have you feel in some type of way. It's okay to process your feelings. Process what you're process, whatever you're going through. Shed the tears that you need to shed. Cry. Do whatever you got to do. But do not stay in this energy. Okay, so spirit is telling you it's get your mojo back. It's like get up out the bed or, or whatever the case may be or stop letting something bother you. It's had a hold over you for far too long is what I'm getting. All right, it's time for you to take control over this situation instead of this situation. It's seemingly taking control over you is what it is looking like here. Commune with nature. Yeah, um, look, we got two and three here as well. Okay, and then three and four. So something is in order, but something also can be getting ready to be over all of the sadness but I see we are in the fall season here and you see this looks like that fall uh, energy the oranges and the browns and everything but spirit is saying commune with nature okay get outside um <clears throat> hug some trees, look at the leaves falling on the ground. I'm thinking of a favorite pastime when I was a kid, when it was fall time. Uh, I grew up in Omaha, Nebraska, and we used to rake up the leaves, okay? And then we used to jump in them type of type ish, you know? So um, that could be something you used to do. I, I grew up with pine cones and, you know, all of that as well. Again, something about the third eye, because we had a third eye here, the third eye here. So it's like clear away your sadness, okay? Okay, because it's, it's skewing your vision. It's not allowing you to see clearly on a situation. You need to ask. For, you need to pray about something or ask your um, ask for guidance on a certain situation. Okay, and then once you ask, you've done your part. So just allow, trust and allow that the answers are going to come to you. You you've done your part. There's nothing else you have to do but allow. And whatever answers to help you get rid of this sadness or whatever is making you sad, you're, you're going to get the answer for it. You just got to trust it. If it's a bill, okay, don't let the, these bills get you blue. Learn how to get your money up. Y'all can book my one-on-one -on -one abundance and prosperity coaching session down below, okay? There's always resources available. I just 
plug myself to, to let you know of a resource, okay, um, for for uh, abundance and prosperity mindset and helping you to get your money up, helping you to, to get your business going or whatever it is that you need, right? But I'm here to tell you that you need to be praying on something, okay, and that's you need to talk to the universe is what this is saying with this commune with nature here. Okay, there could be something inside of a book or some type of answers inside of a book as well. That's what I am getting. And yes, yeah, spill the tea, number 43. So something is going to be revealed to you. Spirit is revealing the tea. Spirit is revealing what it is you need to know. Again, all you got to do is ask here. I'm going to look up number three because there's something specific about that. Okay, so it says... Does a bear poop in the woods? Let's go on a hike and find out. Get off the phone and computer screens and take some time to connect with the natural world, aka nature. When we are constantly connected to our devices, we lose that primal connection to the natural order. Some of y'all been on your phones too much. Mother Nature has given us everything that we need, but as a society, we have turned to materialistic things and to technology. When we get anxious or feel trapped, the first thing we say is, I need some air. When our worlds become too much, we can find peace and solace in nature. Take time today to breathe in some fresh air. Take in nature and sit with your old friend, Mother Nature. Take your shoes off. Let the soles of your feet touch the earth. Your worries will sink into the soil and at least for the moment, you can breathe a little easier. So if there's something ailing you, something bothering you, something on your mind, walk it off. Get outside, breathe in some fresh air, okay? And trust and believe the spirit will take control. The spirit will, um, I'm hearing you will feel spirit move. Some of you guys may live near a wooded area. I'm seeing somebody like out in like, I want to say like the forest, but you know, like out in a wooded area of trees, really, really tall trees above you. There could be like, um... Birds and stuff chirping all around. I know it sounds kind of like fairy tellish, but that's what I'm kind of looking and getting, okay? But you'll get the answers that you need. Something is being revealed with this spill the tea here, okay? By you connecting with the, the universe, I feel like, and you talking to the universe, you taking that time out, I feel like the answers are just going to show up right there. It could be on the license plate, it could be on, you know, a sign or something's going to be spelled out for you very, very clear that's going to help clear out any type of feelings that that you have been uh experiencing okay at this time so again it's okay to feel sad we we are all human so we're gonna feel um however we feel some of yeah that's why homebody is here some of y'all could be in the house and y'all may feel stuck or you know you feel like you need another way out you feel like you need a different route or something Okay, um, I also did a chosen ones message saying you you're being rerouted. So go watch that one when you see it pop up. Okay, however, um, I feel like you've been in the house sad or you've been spirit says you need to live your life. You need to experience the magic of the universe. Okay, around you. And that's what's going to get you out of this phone. There's always new ideas. There's always new inspiration that's around you. Okay, you just got to get out of yourself to, to really look up and see it. Okay, but if if you ask for the answers, the answers will show up, okay, is what I'm picking up on. All right, let's see. Let's get some more messages. Laughter could be significant, okay? You need to laugh more here, all right? Use the signs, clues that are around you. 844 could be significant. That could also be an apartment number or an address, the 844, all right? I'm not sure if that's also... Um, an area code, but if it is, that could be significant. Let me look and see if it is. <clears throat> uh, it's a toll free. So it's time for you to be free. It's time for you to free yourself is what I am picking up. Uh, it's like you're a free agent. You don't belong to anybody with the 844 being a, a, a toll-free number. It doesn't, uh, it's used in North America, but it's not associated with a specific location. Okay. So it's like you're, you may have a certain skill like basketball players and, and sports players, but it's like you're a free agent. Okay. 
as well. I'm going to also look up uh, the 844 angel number. Wow, this is on key. It says 844. If, if we are unhappy, we either need to remember why we made the choices that we made in order to regain our purpose or make changes. We are only ever one decision away from a completely different life. Come on. Angel number 844 is encouraging you to do whatever you have been doing right now. Uh, hold on, you guys. Somebody could be calling you as well. You need to pick up that call. Okay, I'm going to finish reading the angel number for 844. It says, eight four, angel number 844 is encouraging you to do whatever you have been doing right now. You are on the right track and doing great uh, to curb out all of the negative temptations. Trust upon the angels and the divine energies regarding the life choices you're making. Let your life purpose and soul mission be aligned with your daily works and endeavors. It is a message that you will earn monetary abundance and physical prosperity. You deserve this prosperity because of diligence and perspiration. And then, um, it also says 844 reminds you of the infinite possibilities in your path. You're a manifestation machine and have the power to create with your thoughts and actions. 844 brings a message that your daydreams can become a reality. But before anything, you must learn to focus, think it, and believe it to achieve it. Okay? So those are your messages from 844. All right? Um, that is coming up for whatever reason we went down that path. So it was meant for, um, for somebody to, to hear. Okay. God favors you bank deposits. Okay. Hello. We just got done talk about being a manifestation machine and a abundance. Abundance is not just for financial abundance. Abundance could be a bunch of opportunities, a bunch of, the, of people coming towards you, a bunch of anything, right? So, um, just having, uh, not having a scarcity mindset. Okay. This is also that scarcity mindset, scarcity, thinking that you're not enough scarcity, think not knowing your worth. Okay. Scarcity when it comes to money being afraid of, to let go of money. Okay. All of that. Okay. You have, um, financial, um, financial blues is what I'll say. Right. Okay. Not that there's anything funny about that, but my point is, it's definitely possible to make your way out of any financial blues that you may have going on as well. Okay. So, um, continue to do the work and trust and believe that you can push through. Okay. So let me see what else is here. Let's get some more messages for the divine feminine. Let's get some more messages for the Divine Feminine. Let's see. Your basic needs will be met. Yeah, some of you guys are feeling some type of way because of uh, you may feel like your, your needs are not being met right now. You may feel like um, some things are going on, like I said, emotionally, spiritually, financially, in any type of way. Your basic emotional needs will be met. So maybe right now you got all the money in the world, but maybe you feel some type of way about yourself, your self-concepts, your worth, your basic needs when, when it comes to your confidence and all of that. It will be met. Your basic needs when it comes to to uh, um, you uh, turning colds into diamonds, okay? Your, your, your basic needs will be met. It's like you're not, all is not lost type of energy, okay? Yeah, you may need to cut the cords to something as well. Cut the cord to, to this type of, this blue energy, right? And get yourself back on the horse and start riding again, okay? Don't let anything, you know, quote unquote, take you out. Especially not no money, honey. Or no relationship, no broke boy, none of that. No job, don't let no job stress you out. Someone is looking for you, okay? Someone also could have been praying about you as well, speaking your name out into the universe. Yeah, this person is speaking your name out into the universe is what I see. Somebody else could be sad as well over you. Somebody, you know, um, could be looking for you because they know you got this money. They know you got some coin. I am that I am. But yeah, it's like, look, it didn't even want to go in. You're super rich. Yeah, that's why you're doing all this luxury shopping. So it's like, I don't know what you're crying for, girl. <laughs> it's like, everything is going to be good. Everything going to be all right. You are that you are. I am that I am. Comment that down below. I am that I am. Isn't that what God told Moses? I Who do you say I am? I am that I am. You're kept by God. We also have sexual encounter here. 
Also, pay attention to who you're sexually connecting with because you don't want nobody draining you and making you sad either. Dumping their emotions and so forth all onto you. Okay? But yeah, we definitely have someone that's looking for you. This could be someone that's praying for you and what you do, like your your as far as your business. Okay, someone needs your business, your service. So if you're blue because you felt like your business wasn't working or going right or something like that, spirit says you got people that's looking for you. You got people that that want to participate in what you're doing. Yeah, everybody loves being around you. Maybe you don't realize that. You need to get out of this energy and see yourself from an outside point of view. Yeah, trust your intuition. You, you need to, look, it wants to be here. Trust your intuition here. Yeah, spilling the tea. Spirit is going to tell you something. You need to trust it. You could be having dreams about something. Yeah, poverty is a disease. We ain't supposed to be poor. We ain't supposed to be broke. We're supposed to be rich, wealthy, abundant, financially secure. And it's not just with finances. We're supposed to trust and believe that we can do, have, and be whatever we desire on this planet. People won't like you and that's okay. It's okay if that, if that person over there don't like you. That's cool. <laughs> Let's see. Let's just get one more just for fun. What other messages do you have here? Let's get a bonus message. Let's see if one will fly out. Any other messages? Okay. Yeah. You have courage and bravery. Oh, Alpha and Omega. I am that I am. The beginning, the end. Okay. You are the Alpha and the Omega of your own life. Also, spirit is with you. The universe is with you. Don't you ever doubt it and don't you forget it. Courage and bravery. Spirit sees how brave you are to continue persevering and pushing through whatever situation you may be going through or whatever you may be experiencing here. Okay, yeah, let's go here. No, we're going to go here. All right, let's see what else is here. Yeah, we're moving forward with the Six of Swords is what I see. Okay, packing your bags, getting on a ship, jumping ship, going to a place that's better for you is what I see. It's like, let's blow this popsicle stand. It's like, you tired of wherever you at? It's like, you ready to go. It's like, you can have your bags packed already, okay? It's like, you ready to go. And maybe that's what you're praying about or something. Just trust and believe everything is going to work out. Yeah, there could be a tower moment that's here. Something, again, happening unexpectedly. Something could be a surprise. Remember how the cards were flipped over earlier? What other messages are here? What other messages are here? This is for the Divine Feminine. This is for the Divine Feminine. Show me a message for the Divine Feminine. Eight of Cups. You walking away from the yeah. So you, it's like get up, girl. Sarah, uh, Sarah Jakes. It's like get up, girl. Whatever you got going on, get up out of this energy. This ain't. This is not the energy of a queen. This isn't the energy of a goddess. A goddess isn't gonna just sit there and just weep and welp over spilt milk. The milk is on the ground. You can't do anything about it, but clean it up and keep it moving. So whatever it is that you got going on with this sadness or things, oh, things, that victim type, you got to get out of that, boo. Put on a very pretty dress. Put, make yourself feel good. Do what you can with what you have and, buy you, and be grateful for what you have. And that's what's going to multiply more. Trust me. I'll, I can't, the, the vibration behind my words, I can't even explain how much it's so simple, but it's so true. The more you learn to be so grateful, you're going to keep getting more. I promise you that. And it may seem like it ain't working and it just starts to snowball. That's all I can say to that. The moon, again, something that you're not seeing Things may take time, but it doesn't mean it ain't happening. You need to journal as well. Journal your feelings, okay? Journal your journey as well so you can look back, all right? Again, the stars are all around you here. Your ancestors are with you, guiding you, all right? Let's see. King of Cups. Ooh, this came out for the other Divine Feminine reading in the exact same space. Yeah, you're focused on getting emotionally stable, because whatever you were experienced, Eight of Cups and then King of Cups, these, this Cups is the water. It's your emotions here. You could be a water sign, 
Okay, Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces here, especially with this Five of Cups type of energy. Okay, but this is giving me that King of Pentacles energy, that commune with uh, with um, nature, or even the Empress energy as well is giving me that abundant energy. Yeah, with this King of Cups, you're focused on your abundance. Okay, also that someone is looking for you, King of Cups. There could be a King of Cups is in your energy or someone who's emotionally devout, someone who's faithful, okay, this this looking for you, they're on their path. Okay, so you're gonna bump into someone that's been looking for you. So this doesn't necessarily mean that somebody you know, but they're looking for you as far as they'll run into you, they'll know it's you when they run into you, type of type of energy. You get what I'm saying? Someone's been praying to, to spirit, to the universe, for somebody like you. And you're going to run into this person. You're going to meet this person if you're not already connected with this person. But it required you and this person to walk away from all of this type of energy as well. You had to have a successful mindset. If you have a five of cups energy, you're only going to meet people in the five of cups energy. So you have to make sure you're in the King of Cups energy so you can meet someone in the King of Cups energy or the Queen of Cups or whatever. You get it's the same. You get what I'm saying? Always compose yourself before getting giving a response. So it's like you're very much emotionally mature when you speak. You don't just fly off the handle. This Eight of Cups says, if your life feels stale, explore some new scenery. So if you don't like where you are, it's that six of swords energy we saw. Pack up and leave then. If you're not being emotionally, toler uh, if you're only being tolerated, go to where you're appreciated. Temperance, let go of self-imposed limitations. Yeah, you're limiting yourself with this five of cups energy, with this sad energy. Queen of cups, I just got done saying queen of cups, king of cups. And look, we have a match here. Trust your intuition. You trust your intuition with this queen of cups. It's high priestess energy. It's like empress energy. A lot of divine feminine energy here. Your, your masculine and feminine energy is balanced out. You really trust yourself or you're learning to trust yourself. Depending on who's watching, what level you're on. You're coming out of this am I blue energy. And you're getting into this where you fully trust yourself. Or you're fully emotionally mature. I also see where you're building a relationship with spirit is what I see. You're connecting with spirit here. Three of wands on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, you're expanding. It's time for you to expand. So all of this energy is old or you're coming out of it and you come out on top. You become emotionally balanced. And again, you may be meeting someone along the way that's a perfect emotional match for you if you have yet to meet this person already. That's just what's here. This three of wands. And look, I just said high priestess and look. Can't, can't make it up. When in doubt, your first gut feeling can always be trusted. That's trusting your intuition. That's that high priestess energy with spill the tea here. It's all, it's all the same. Your intuition is spilling the tea. Your intuition is telling you what you need to hear. Your queen of cups, you being tapped in, is telling you what you need to hear. 15% uh, is left on my phone battery. We're at 23 on the phone timer. Okay, so those numbers could be significant. Three of Wands, put yourself out there and you'll be rewarded one way or another. Don't be afraid to put yourself out there and trust and believe that whatever you're doing is definitely going to work out in your favor. Okay, let's go ahead and get some pick-me-ups and I'm going to go ahead and close this out. But there's definitely um, an emotional match here, a person that's here for you. Okay, you guys can also live by the water. Let's get some final messages for the Divine Feminine. Some messages that they need to hear to pick them up at this time if they're feeling some type of way. Okay, taking control over your destiny. Say F off to toxic people and embrace those who lift you up. Let's get a message. This is for the Divine Feminine who's watching. I hustle hard, I shine bright, and I don't take ish from anyone. I'm on my way to the top and nothing can stop me. Exactly. You're a creative here. You're an entrepreneur. You working hard on your goals here. You guys could be a photographer. You guys are always on your phone, on your computer, drinking tea, drinking coffee, journaling, writing out your plans. It's like you a busy bee, you a busy boss. Smile at others. People will appreciate being seen. As you see other people, other people see you, okay? Express yourself, okay? While you're working, put on some aromatherapy as well, okay? I'm getting mint. I'm getting eucalyptus as well, okay? 
Give compliments. It reminds people of their sacredness, okay? You could be the type of people that give compliments. Maybe uh, you could use some compliments as well. That means you can give yourself compliments. If you feel like, dang, ain't nobody gave me a compliment in a while. When was the last time you gave yourself a compliment? Keep giving yourself compliments, okay? Treat yourself. I make time for what I love because life's too damn short for work alone. Yeah, you out here working hard. I see all this blue energy is gone, at the end of the day, you guys come out, you guys come out of this energy, y'all hustling, y'all working, and hustle doesn't have, have to mean like, <sighs> you like working hard like that, but y'all are, but you also know that th it's, you're also in your soft energy as well. I'll just add that to it, but you out here shining, okay, and it's like you taking care of yourself is what I see. So there's multiple messages in here, okay? There's multiple people watching. If you are in the blue energy, then trust and believe you get out of that energy. I'll take both of these. I'm an effing badass and I love every damn part of me. Choose happiness. You can always decide to focus on the good over the bad. Exactly. Choose happiness over sadness. Feel how you feel, but choose happiness at the end of the day. Trust to know that you're a badass. When was the last time you looked at the mirror? Love every part of you. Take care of yourself, your dogs, your, your kids, your whole camp. Everybody around you is abundant because you're abundant and they're only feeding off your abundance. People can see the abundance around you even when you're not around. So people can see the abundance in your children or anybody that's in your crew, in your family. Anybody that's connected with you, they know that they're abundant because you're an abundant person. That's the type of energy you got to be in. You got to only speak abundance. Book your abundance and prosperity coaching down below. That way you can manifest all of your abundance, all of your prosperity. That way you can develop the right mindset that is required to, to manifest the life of your dreams. Anyways, it says, I'm damn grateful for everything life has given me and I choose to focus on the good. Didn't I just say that being grateful will multiply your life? I'm trying to tell you, you might, you might want to get with it. Being grateful, it, it just changes your attitude, creative things. Take time to appreciate your own creativity, however it manifests. However your creativity manifests, be thankful for it. I'm telling you, you got some opportunities that are coming through. All because you chose to walk away and do something different. You decide to align your emotions, okay, is what I see. And then lastly, it says, I'm perfect in my own badass way and no one can tell me otherwise. Yeah, you a badass. Don't let nobody tell you anything different, period. And it says, see the good. Focus on your strengths, not your weaknesses. What are you, where are you, where's your focus at? You need to focus on positive so you can be happy versus focusing on anything else and that's keeping you sad, period. Be motivated and live the life of your dreams. Something is coming in for you. This three of wands, you've been waiting a very long time, but something is coming in for you. You're expanding, okay? Your knowledge, your wisdom, something physically, okay? Uh, success is coming in, so continue to trust it. Comment that down below. Success is my middle name. I have a winner's mindset, period. So these are your messages, Divine Feminine. I hope they have helped you and found you well. You all can book your 30-minute Divine Feminine phone readings down below in the description bar. It's only $77 for a 30-minute phone reading. That's a great steal, okay? Uh, also, you guys can give this video a thumbs up. You can also book the Abundance and Prosperity Coaching, like I said earlier. If you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and baby i will see you all in the next one check out all the chosen ones videos as well check those out and i will see you all in the next one i am nayla latrice peace